Today on Dice Chatter, we up our miniature base game and make some awesome ancient ruin bases. For this base, I intend to make it a simple, quick, and easy project. The only downside is that you may need to purchase some products to achieve the look I'm going for. To make the intricate temple ruin-looking details, you will need some oven-baked clay and any special rolling pin from Green Stuff World. I got the one with the Cthulhu-looking texture, so with that out of the way, we will rush into the building process. Pete the Wargamer on his channel made a similar base to this, and as I don't want to steal anyone's thunder, his video goes into way more detail on the building process. But I will give you a quick recap here. Get a bunch of clay. Roll it up with your special textured rolling pin. Bake it in your oven. Then break it apart. Glue it on the base. Dust on kitty litter and baking soda for earthy texture. And get ready to prime that bad boy. Alright, now we finally are at the painting part. First things first. Don't feel the need to prime it black, that really depends on your finished product at the end of the day. If you're going for more of a grey stone look, go black or dark grey primer. If you're going for a desert themed ruin, maybe a standard or light grey primer. Anywho, onto the paints. A majority of the work on this piece is using the airbrush. If you don't have an airbrush, do some light dry brushing until you get up to the shade you are looking for. I start out with black and prime the entire base. From there, I work in gray on the stone, and in between these steps, I actually don't clean out my airbrush. I just let the colors blend and flow. Once the stones are primed with gray, then I throw some white in the mix and really use it to focus down on the stone to give it that extra contrast boost. Once I'm satisfied with how they look, then we move on to the handheld brush. Now for those of you who feel like you need to stick to a paint recipe a stranger on the internet tells you about, don't feel the need to here. I simply use paints I have access to and are sitting at my paint station. Anywho, I start with a dry brush of Dawnstone all over the non-stone parts. It is okay if you get a bit on the actual damaged ruins. It'll get covered up with a wash in a minute. For those of you who have not used cheap makeup brushes that you can get from the dollar store for dry brushing, I highly suggest it for large bases like this and terrain. Anywho, I'll see myself out now. After this, we bring out an assortment of washes. The grittier ones I focus on the earth beneath the stone, and the brighter ones I focus on the stone itself. So Agrax Earthshade and some Athonian Camo Shade stay in the earthy textures, while Beal Tan Green, Drakenhof Nightshade, and Druchi Violet? Sure. Will be focused on the stone. Now I don't follow an exact ratio for the washes, and what I mean by this is that I mix it up. On some bases, I focus more on the blue wash, others the green, and so on. Feel free to have a specific plan for yourself, but keep in mind the base is going to be covered up by a mini, or I at least assume yours will. After we attack the base with those five washes, we then take out our Paraxeti... White? Why can't GW just have easier names? Anyways, and do a very light dry brush over the entire base. Make sure to pick out the sharp edges and the rubble. And once you complete this step, your simple paint job is complete. Just make sure you don't forget to give the base the good old rim job of whatever color you like. And if you are adventurous like me, you will take the time to add some grass tufts where you see fit. And there we have it, a ruined temple base. The key in making this base so easy to paint is the focus on two simple painting skills, dry brushing and washes. If you want to focus on a more dingy dark temple, use dull washes. If you want it to be more colorful than mine, go for some vibrant yellows and reds. And don't forget to put some awesome models on these bases. For those interested, I am working on a dark elf army for Age of Sigmar. And once I get that army done, I'll be sure to show it to all of you. But as always, I want to thank you all for watching, and of course, happy gaming.